Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV, man. Maybe, maybe I need to cut my, uh, my bad, y'all. A little blurry on here or something, man. My bad, y'all. So I do need to cut the light on even in the daytime. Let's get to it real quick, man. What's going down, bro? Child, thank you. Y'all know why we here. It's Big Ant the Spokesman. Give me a mic check real quick. Quick little mic check. Quick little mic check. Y'all turn it up. We finna get to it. Do y'all believe this song is real or not? We'll get to it. We'll listen to it. It's on y'all, really. We'll stay live for a little bit. Y'all want to hear the song? Man, we ain't got no confirmation yet. Drake ain't said nothing yet. My boy says it's AI, AI. I'm going to be real with y'all, bro. It sound outdated to me. It's certain players, it's certain bars in there. It's, yeah, it really is copyrighted. It is getting copyrighted. We gonna play it. We can't play it through the. We can't play it through the YouTube. But I got it on the phone right here. If I play it through YouTube, it's gonna end the live. I don't want it to end the live. So what I'm gonna do is we gonna go through different little things on here, and y'all tell me can y'all hear real quick? Hello. So this is supposedly be the part for Ross right here. Let's go to that. We're going to read some of the bars that's on there. We'll go through some of it. Damn, I just had a place I want to look at that bitch at, too. Uh, We're going to go through the bars. Okay, that was the first part. What y'all think on that first part right there? Could y'all hear that? Let me know something. Let me know. Could y'all hear that? Could y'all hear that? Could y'all hear that? Let me see if they got the lyrics up yet. Could y'all hear that part? Let me know something. This for y'all in the chat. We live streaming. I didn't want to just drop a video on it right away, and then we didn't already know if it was real or confirmed or not. Drop it. Give me 50 lyrics. Did y'all get the first part? Could y'all hear it? Y'all heard it? Okay, bet. So we'll go through that first part of the song real quick, then we'll go to the next part of the song. We just heard the first part for the people that's just coming in. Y'all turn us up. It says, I can never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one I had to put in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for nothing. For nine. Lingo. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker y'all depend on. Tough on record. In my city, it was friend zone. You won't ever take no chain off us. How the fuck you big stepping with the size seven men zone? Who was that? 
Who y'all think that's for? Let me know in the chat. Who's that for? How the fuck you big stepping with a size seven men's on? Who y'all think if this is real? Just keep it all the way a thousand. If this is real, we gonna keep that where that said. If this is real, gotta be Kendrick, like my nigga AC say, the big steppers, the big steppers, the morale in the steppers. So that's like a play off the album. That one obvious. If it is this, if this is real, so this the bark with the bite, nigga. What's up? That's addressing for all the dogs. I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Extortion, baby. Whole career been shook up. Because Top told you drop and give me 50 like some push-ups. Huh? Your last one bricked. You really not on shit. They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we going to see the split. Hey, the way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5 need a verse. You better make it witty. Then when we need a verse for the Swifties. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. To say drop, you better drop and give me 50. Pip squeak pop down. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis, you got wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label. Boy, you in the scope right now. So. If y'all remember, Travis Scott was on stage with them niggas, if this is real. Because I'm not going to lie to you, the quality don't sound there. Like, y'all can say this is hot. I like the raps. I like the responses. I like he taking shots directly at niggas. But this right here ain't hard enough if this is what you dropping, bro. What y'all think? That right there ain't hard enough if that's what you're going to be dropping. If that's what you're gonna be dropping, that right there ain't gonna ain't gonna be hard enough. Them bars ain't gonna ain't gonna be hard enough. Yeah, they light. And I just don't believe, I just don't believe that Drake team would let something like this get leaked. Nah, I like that he rapping, but I feel like this is Drake six, seven years really eight years ago. You got to come harder than you came on back to back. And the reason why, before we go to the next part of the song, you got to come harder than you did on back to back is because Kendrick verse is on the number one song in the country right now. This song got to go harder than this for it to really hit. It's on y'all in the chat. Y'all want me to keep reading the lyrics so y'all want to hear that second clip that they have on it. We can't play the song all the way through copywriting and stuff. I don't want the live to get took down while we doing it. Chat, majority rules. Y'all want us to keep breaking down the lyrics or do y'all want to play the second part of the diss? It's on y'all in the chat. We see Travis name mentioned. He said, you ain't big three. Scissor got you wiped down. That's a Kendrick saying, hey, nigga, y'all all TDE. Say so break it down. If y'all all heard it, my boy say good. Maybe, maybe good theory. We can't just play the diss all the way through. Y'all have to go listen to it and then come back because we can't just really play the diss all the way through like that. But I'm going to play the second part. Top. Top dog. That's not it. Yeah, I'm a six guy. Yeah, I'm a blood run. Okay. Okay. 
It was some direct shit in there. I like the angles. I like the angle he taking in this motherfucker for sure. The angles is hidden. The angles is there. The intent is there. But it's just seeming more low. Yeah, yeah, it ain't got that prestigious to to it to me. So let's let's go through those bars right right there. So you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. So Scissor as TDE Savage got you wiped down like your label. Boy, you in the scope right now. That was light to me, y'all. Y'all tell me y'all honest opinion. You in the scope right now. Like your label to Kendrick. That was like, eh, eh. I get what you did with it, but it's like, uh, I don't know. He said, and you gonna feel the aftermath of what I write down. That's reference to Kendrick being locked in with Dre. You know what I'm saying? And things like that. Then he say, I'm at the top alone. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Y'all see that? I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight, you tight now. Just to have this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. That's a good little line. That's a good little line, but I don't like that beat. The mixing of the beat, of course, I like to get take money. But if you're going to play with that pox shit, nigga, if you're going to pull out that pox shit, you're going to take that take money and redo like pox, you got to come for these niggas direct, nigga. Big difference between Mike Dean and Mike now. What's this? What the fuck is this? A 20v1 nigga? Everybody on Drake right now, he said, what is this, a 20v1? That's the reference off the little YouTube skits that everybody does right now in the game. The little skits where they bring all the girls out and they say whatever rapper or entertainer versus this many girls and shit like that. So that's that's cool. That's witty. This is cool. Okay. He say, oh, What's a prince to a king? He a son. Nigga, I get more love, more love in your city than you for than you from. Now, Drake made that on the he made that same bar type reference when he did that shit remix. And I keep telling people, if y'all don't remember how ironic this this storyline is and how it has like transformed and came back around in full circle. After Kendrick dropped the control verse on Big Sean's song with Jay Electronica 11 years ago, Drake was a nigga that felt the way about it. You could tell in his response when he went and did an interview, he felt the way about it. A lot of people took it as rap competition. Some niggas are, oh, he disrespected New York. He disrespected everything like that. A lot of niggas said, hey, nigga, we hear you. We finna rap. Drake did a song with Future. It was that song that Future had at that time called Shit. I don't know if y'all remember Shit. Talking about you fucking hoes. Nigga, you ain't fuck shit. Talking about you doing this. Nigga, you ain't did shit. He on that remix. He got on that remix. And when he got on that remix, he went at Kendrick for the control verse. He said... I run your town, you my son now. Like, I, I'm bigger than you in your city. I'm bigger than you in your city. So he went back to that again right there. So I don't really know. But it's crazy because, as I told y'all, that was years and years ago. Future song with a 3-6 Mafia sample on it. Drake is on there going at Kendrick on a Future song. Now here we are in 2024. Kendrick is on a future Metro Boomer song going at Drake with another three mix kind of sample in it coming originally from Everlasting Bass and Easy e Thug from around the way. But they, 3-6 Mafia, had the Ryan Spinners. And I think they do got the 3-6 Mafia vocals in that motherfucker too. I don't know. So it say, uh, let's go. He said he a son, nigga. I get my Lord love in, the, in that city that you from, nigga. Metro, set your whole ass up and make some drums. Nigga, yeah, I'm the sixth god. I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chubbs. Lil' Blunt Runner. That was a good one. 
that it's like it ain't hitting on the delivery side of it, though, for some reason. He said, yeah, I'm the sixth God. I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chubb's little blunt runner. And I guess he's talking about EXO right there. Claim is six, and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing able bread out here tricking. Shit we do for the bitches he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. That's that future. The wicked, wicked, wicked. That's that future. So, Cash XO is the manager. And, like, the XO label, like, hey, you can just tell he on the boss position over there. Shout out to the XO team and everything like that. They all from Toronto and everything like that. But they locked in with Future. They all they just dropped a new video today with the We Still Don't Trust You. And EXO was on the last album with them. So they all tied in. So if this is AI, they did a good job of putting it together. Like how niggas didn't locked in with each other, who ain't rocking with who. They most definitely did that good if this is AI. It say, spend it like you trying to fuck, boy. You tripping. Drizzy, Chip, and Dale probably got your bitch Chanel. I just got undone. Boy, don't make me have to chip a nail. Okay, let's go back to that. Let's go back to the rap. I don't like that drop and give me 50 shit either. So let's go through that. Uh, that 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 part was light. That part was light. And I guess with me, that's the one thing that this is. This is a lesson in music for people that don't know how important engineers are in music. Period. Just all music. You got to know how important the engineer is to give you the finished final product, nigga, because they got to doctor this shit up. A lot of this shit that you hear probably would get cut out of this song if they was going to put this out as a finished song. They cutting a lot of this fat out because a lot of this shit is fat. They going to cut it down, mix it, make it seem like it flowed all the way through, and he would have to come back, maybe drop some other bars. But that drop and give me 50 shit, that's just not what I would be expecting from the shit that's been done and said and shit like that. So it's say, uh, he said, uh, Drizzy Chippendale probably got your bitch in there. I just got undone. Boy, don't make me have to chip a nail. Rolling loud stage. Y'all were turnt. That was sick as hell. Lucky that your dog, little BM, doesn't kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses. Man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every chain I know. I own next visit. I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney Top Stay Drop. Your little midget ass better fucking A. Better drop and give me 50. A, drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. A, niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a cuffer like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in. This nigga turning 50. Must be talking about Ross. He got to be talking about Ross. Every song that made it on the chart he got from Jiz, Drizzy. Worry about whatever you got going Oh, uh. And I ain't going to lie. I thought I heard a nigga say Diddy on there, bro. You and uh. Hey, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. 
I know you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. I ain't even rapping after this. I'm way too busy. This for all the top dogs. Drop it. Give me 50. That's another little thing at Kendrick. The top dog stuff. And he said, and that fucking song y'all got is not starting beef with. Hold on. Let me play that part. My bad, y'all. Let me play that part for y'all. My bad. Hello, we got to bring that back. Now, I ain't going to lie. When I listen to it, these bars do sound, I mean, the voice. The voice don't sound like AI, bro. What y'all think? I don't know if y'all can hear it clearly. The voice don't sound like AI. Let me know something in the chat. Do the voice sound like AI to y'all? On this verse right here, I'm hearing it. And I'm really picturing that nigga in the studio. Yeah. On, on that part right there, I'm hearing it. And I'm like, okay, nah. I can picture him in the studio rapping. Lights off in the booth. He just going. But this is him just rapping. And they didn't finish putting it together. So with that happening, with, with that happening like that, that means that, hey, this, he just talking. Like, if you if you watch niggas record, uh, the, if you watch niggas record, when niggas record, it's, it's different when niggas really record because they just go through shit and then they cut shit out, redo shit, add shit. This sound like the version that just went through and got not cut, not edited, not mixed, not put down. And he just saying off the top. But he most definitely went in on J. Cole right there. Did y'all catch that J. Cole line? Shut your mouth, you know. It's me twice in my big three. I had to leave you out. Fucking dumbass, you know. All right, so I ain't going to lie. What's y'all hardest bar in there? I ain't going to lie to y'all. The, the hardest bar for me out of this version of it, I don't care what J. Cole, what Cole say, that dot shit was weak as fuck. That bar and the energy of that bar and the delivery of that bar hit harder than everything he said on that motherfucker. Then the part where he went in EXO, but I don't know. Was teaming up with all of y'all, falling like some dominoes, bros turning hoes, dog. Like I ain't got enough of those. I can't wait to see how far you niggas get to reaching now. This is the closest thing you niggas getting to a feature now. Backpedal gang, because a few of y'all been reaching out. 
Y'all drew the line. What the fuck we got to speak about? Get your fucking head tapped. You niggas get the peeking out. You had a song for four years. Drop that shit and shut your mouth. I know you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. I ain't even rapping after this. I'm way too busy. Nigga, call up top to see if top want to piece it up. Top want to piece it up. Top want to piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on. Now you on your own. You speaking up. You done rolled deep to this. It's not fucking deep enough. Begging cost not when you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm out here. You not fucking creeping up. Begging cost not. Who was that? Money wise, I'm out here. You not fucking sneaking up. Cornball, your show, money, merch, money, feed of us. I'm letting you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything. I know you don't want to wake a demon up. This ain't even everything. I know don't want to. You don't want to wake a demon up. Drop it. Give me fifty. It's official now. So this was it. So that that is it. That is the actual song. Let me get some confirmation on that. Let me look online. I ain't going to lie. This beat. This beat ain't it. For what? Because you got to understand. Kendrick has the number one song. His. It, it's just that whole hit. And it came out of nowhere. And that's the disadvantage, I think, for a nigga coming with a response. And this is just us tapping in. Uh, being neutral, we here for the sport. We love it. Long as ain't nobody getting hurt, I want this rap shit, nigga. Nick, we talk about music right now. Uh, rest in peace to Rico Wade, too, man. Rest in peace to Rico Wade. Rest in peace to Rico Wade, man. Dungeon family. Most definitely. I'm trying to figure out some shit. Hold on. I don't want to play too much music because they'll pull the stream down, man. Nah. Okay, so, yeah, now I'm getting, and I can't still confirm. I don't want nobody to think that I'm just throwing out some bullshit stuff. They saying that the real record is out now. Yeah, it ain't. It ain't nah. I can see like this, like this gotta be the bait. This would have hit seven years ago. What y'all think? This I, I'm gonna just wrap it up on this. This would have hit seven years ago. 2017, we'd have been like, oh wow, that nigga went crazy. This ain't that. This one ain't that. This would have hit in my opinion, seven years ago, six years ago, five years ago. I'm not, I'm not going to go on here and lie. I respect it. I respect Drake jumping out there and going at niggas. The hardest part of this song is him going at Kendrick Lamar, man. I mean, that, uh, the hardest part, is I, I like it regardless. Win, lose, or draw. I salute him for getting that at niggas. 
The hardest line on here, the hardest line on here, nigga, is the one he gave for J. Cole, nigga, because I felt that. Like, nah, nigga, I'm going to go at these niggas. You weak for that shit. That's the hardest shit on there. Yeah, they said he dropped it now. I'm hearing it on what you call it. It sounds mixed. So there's a mixed version. Nah, I, I respect that him getting out there. So that's, this ain't enough though. I'm not going to hype the song. I'm not going to sell no dream. This song ain't hard enough. But for if, if you got to come with another one, if you want it's respect. I got to respect him for getting in that blender. Let me keep it a band. He got in the blender. Went at niggas, talk this shit. I know it's some stuff that he probably dissing niggas that I ain't catching, but it ain't, it ain't that. It, it ain't, it ain't one of them knockouts. Like that song "Too Hard" by Kendrick, Future, Metro Boom, and that song "Too Hard." Yeah, it's not AI. It's not AI. Hold on. I'm on academic stream right now. He got the people telling me somebody just DM me on the ground. Said he got the official song. If y'all want to go over there and hear the official song. Somebody just sent me this on the gram saying Academics has the real song. Yeah, bro, I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's what they saying. I don't know for sure. I don't want to. I don't want to sell no dreams. I don't want to put no lies out there, but we going to treat it like it's stat. But y'all hearing it from me. I salute Drake for getting in that blender. I salute that nigga for punching back, but we can't. I can't all the way confirm what's real and what's not. And I'm going to tell you like this. From what I heard, even reading these bars, they cool, but it ain't that. Maybe it's just a warm-up. But I got to respect it, nigga. This the culture. Like, Now, mind you, for the people that didn't know, real quick, we're going to do this. I don't know about before, but, oh, I got the same one. Okay, bet, bet, bet. We just going to do da Okay. Somebody came in and told me he had the real, uh, the real version, and it's the real song. I don't know. So, okay, let me tell you all this then. Drake, if you don't know, on for all the dogs. On for all the dogs, Drake dissed. What you call it? On for all the dogs. Drake dissed ASAP Rocky and he dissed the weekend. And the way he delivered Drake name Pluto would make if it's some tension in the air and they ain't been fucking with each other, the way he said Drake uh future name, he would take that as a diss as well. And even in that same verse, it kind of came off like he was dissing uh on the ASAP Rocky song, it kind of came off like he was throwing something at Playboy Cardi too, just a little bit. If you want to entertain it, he played off the Millie Rockin' and the Magnolia Millie Rockin' and da 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 But the, the weekend, when he dissed the weekend on all the parties with the Chief Key song on there, that was a clear cut, nigga, I'm dissing you, fuck you. It was just straight up. So... Yeah, yeah, it, it wasn't enough. We got to see. You got to come through it. It wasn't direct. This ain't like back to back. This ain't nowhere near in the caliber of, hey, I'm getting you up out of here. This ain't that. This is like, hey, me being who I am for the culture, I got to respect you swinging back at niggas, but this ain't that. And then this is the part of being a nigga that's delivered so many hits. Your expectations are very high, my nigga. The quality got to be good. The bars got to be good. This sound like they just ran through. I don't know what's what yet. 
We'll be back. Let me look up some more stuff. Uh, things like that. We already played it, bro. Just go back and watch the. Uh, I'm about to re-upload it as a video. You can come back and watch it. I'm pretty sure there's several other streamers on the internet right now streaming it. We'll be back, man. I'm gonna drop this bitch as a video and everything like that. We'll see what's what. And uh, yeah. It, so what's y'all final verdict? The for the supporters. This from the people. I wish I could I could I could respond. I could like do a, a, a poll here. I know it's a way I could do it, but I ain't never did it before. What is y'all overall verdict? I'm finna read everybody shit in the chat. Max City ENT say mid. Okay. Heartbreak kid. Duh, okay. It's the people. Double OK say mid. Max City say mid. Anyone say this was not good as Kendrick fans? I'm not going to lie, bro. Drake got high expectations. That's, that's the thing about being a nigga that's been dropping good shit and high quality shit for so long you always got to deliver let me tell y'all something not just about music about anything in life it's hard as fuck to make it chef jeff say it was light it's hard as fuck to get in the game it's hard as fuck to make it you have to sacrifice everything you gotta break your neck you gotta suffer it's hard as fuck to make it in this game it's hard as fuck to get to the top of this game. Nigga, you got to put everything on the line. But guess what? It's even harder to stay at the top, nigga. So all the hard work you did to get to the top, you got to work even harder to stay at the top. Flow there needed different beat. Certain pockets of the flow, I felt. Certain pockets could have been better. Sky say trash. Kendrick Lamar don't play. Hoover say academics. Trent B say AI. Double OK say I'm a Drake fan and Kendrick fan and it's still mid. The beat is better on the official song. Okay. It's a light little jab. Baiting Kendrick, if you got it, drop it already and he telling the Avengers to shut the fuck up. Kendrick is about to end it. Drake been the best. This ain't his. This ain't his best. Max City say this ain't his best. Drake singing ass. I can't read the emoji. We needed this. No, we did need that. I got to shout out Drake for coming with this. I do. Nigga, I ain't finna be biased on the grading of this shit. I got to. Hey, I got to respect that part, nigga. This Drake, this is weak like J. Cole. It's not AI confirmed. Separate the men from the boys. Allen Iverson or not, mid, man. Kendrick, this wasn't all that. Like J. Cole said, they gassed it. Nah. That Kendrick shit went crazy. And when, they, when you break Kendrick bars down, that shit go crazy, bro. It is what it is. Uh, We going to have this up for y'all to come back and tap into it. Uh, so weekend gave a response. ASAP gave a response. Weekend, weekend got the hardest bar on this shit, bro. That nigga said that nigga's shooters is on TikTok. I'm glad I didn't sign my life away. That was that was a good one. Yeah, yeah. It, Kendrick got a different energy he gets up to when it's time to go at niggas, right? AC. Hey, this ain't about who sell the most uh crypt, Tony. Shout out to you know, you have you could have different pockets of conversation, bro. We're not talking about money and who sold the most right now. Yeah, K K dot flow felt the disrespect, bro. Like you you can feel the energy, like I believe what I'm saying to you, niggas, nigga. That's why I didn't understand J. Cole's apology. I didn't understand J. Cole apology because he was like, ain't no big nigga, ain't no big three, nigga. It's just did he say fuck the big three? Or ain't no big three. It's just big me. I can't remember, but it sounded like fuck the big three, basically. 
the energy he said it with was like, fuck all y'all niggas. Shout to, hey, shout out to my God. This battle is not about uh, the commercial sales. Yeah, this might be a leak. It's strategic. He could have just woke it up. He could have been like, hey, let me test this shit. Let me test that shit. Let's go. I'm here for it. ASAP got his issue, issue uh, his situation back. ASAP got his little shot back. For the people that don't know, he said, Hey, I had her before you, uh, before you birthed his son. Like I was with your girl before you had her. That's his baby mama. And he said that uh, let me tell you what else ASAP Rocky said. We here for the bars, man. ASAP Rocky say, niggas and they feelings over women. What? You heard of something? I smashed before you birth, son. Flacco hit it first, son. Still don't trust you. Always us, never them. Heard you dropped it. Drop your latest shit. Funny how it just came and went. And Weekend say, The fuck the weekend say that nigga say uh he say the biggest show in Paris you singing it the loudest you always be the baddest babe I promise that I got your back you'll never be in danger promise nothing will happen these niggas always japping yeah I promise that I got your back oh look at how we moving baby moving baby they can never diss my brothers baby future when they got leaks in their operation, I thank God that I never signed my life away. And we never do the big talk. No, 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 no. They shooters making TikToks. Got us laughing in the Lambo. I promise that I got your back. And Drake's proclaimed shooter or the guy that's like the stepper over there. Baca, big Baca. Top shot of Baca is active on TikTok. Scientific rap, wordplay, breakdown, meaning encoded rap. Kendrick Lamar got that right now. It and that beat is insane. This one is different. We'll see. We'll be back. Yeah, we had to, we couldn't just play it all the way through, bro. Like, we just can't do that. Go listen on, it's on Instagram, it's on blogs and everything like that. Go check it out. We'll be back later on. Drop it, give me 50. I'm not really this and that, but, hey, I got to salute, dog, for getting out there rapping. J. Cole, you shouldn't have did that shit. If anything, J. Cole, you should have waited a little bit, or you could have hit Kendrick behind the scenes. Hey, bro, I had to get on you. You know this rap. Or you could just came to Twitter, uh, J. Cole. Because it's two sides of it. For J. Cole, as a man, I respect you. You did what was right. You didn't follow the crowd. You didn't do what the people wanted to do. And you said it was, it was fucking with your mind. Nigga said, okay, that's, that's respectful. That's honorable. 100, nigga. I feel you. On the rap and hip-hop side, though, no. This is sports. This is competition. This is art. Who's better? You bow down, you bowed out to a nigga who don't even respect it. And you kind of made it seem like dog feelings was hurt. The way that Kendrick Lamar moves as a rapper, as an artist, as a nigga out here doing burpees at a sunny afternoon at a park, he might be offended that you thought that his feelings was hurt. But salute to J. Cole, salute to Kendrick, all the guys, we back, man. Y'all stay up. Most shit coming. No, no, he did what it was as a man, but for the sport, that was bad. For the art, this was bad. For hip-hop, this was bad. He could have just put that song out and then tweeted, hey, this for the sport, this for hip-hop, this for the culture. We going to see who the best. Shout out to Kendrick, nigga, get your lick back. And Kendrick would have known, okay, now we rapping, if you thought it was that. If you thought it was going to be that, you could easily say, like, hey, bro, this is for the sport, this is for hip-hop, this is for the culture. Kendrick say he the best. Nah, nigga, I think I'm the best. Kendrick, shoot your best shot back. Let's get it.
But we out. We're going to tap back in with y'all, man. Mo coming. Make sure y'all subscribe. Turn us up. Make sure you stay on your pivot. We appreciate it, everybody. Early daytime shit, Saturday, 3 p.m. Central Time. Let me give some shout-outs, man. Who all we got up in the building, man? What cities we got in the building right now before we get up out of here? What cities we got up in the building? Studio 56 Podcast. We should be back Monday for shit show. Who we got up in here? We got in. We got the nap in the building and no up in here. Philly in the building. Who else we got up here? Ace Town, of course. Cape Verde, Atlanta. Shout out to ATL, man. Shout out to Cape Verde. Who else we got up in this joint, man? Ace Town, Handyman. Come on. Los Scandalous. Nah, it's Scandalous in Los Angeles. <laughs> Toronto in the building, okay. Northern Cali, L.A., Arkansas, Dallas, Texas, Oak Cliff, Alexandria, okay, that's my that's my second home. If you know, you know. South Africa, Corpus Christi. Who else we got up in here? Boston. Who else we got up in here, man? Turn it up, turn it up. ATL again. St. Louis, a shit show. 216, Lil Bubba. I don't know what 216 is, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Toronto, Spartanburg, South Carolina. South Carolina. It ain't AI, bro. It's real. 310, ready to go. Fresno, bet, man, we here, we rocking. I appreciate all y'all tapping in, man, we out. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Come back and hit the like button and turn it up. I'm going to drop the full video, man. We got more shit coming. We going to drop a video on it. Fuck it. We going to take this down and make it a video, see what it do. Cleveland, Ohio, France.